Okay, so how will the world look like in 10 or 50 years? Uh, how much uh, will the impact of technology increase? Um, the impact of technology is going to be huge over the next five to ten years. So we know that artificial intelligence is here to stay and it's just going to continue to evolve and become more autonomous and, um, and eventually um, be running itself. And they predict that within eight to ten years, artificial intelligence will actually exceed human intelligence. So that is going to have a huge impact on the future when artificial intelligence starts to look after some of these systems that we as humans have been putting in place and implementing. So it's really up to us right now to make sure we are training artificial intelligence in a um, way that is ethical, that also promotes our values of the kind of future and humanity that we want. There's also the future of the internet. So this is the metaverse, Web 3.0. So a 360 degree 3D interactive embodied internet where we can move from space to space as easily as we move from one web page to another. And this is also, will have interoperability, so the ability to um, take our avatars and our digital assets, our NFTs, and our currency, our cryptocurrency, with us from one place to another. So this is like the very short perspective, like eight, 10 years, and how about 50? Are we going to live in the internet? Yeah, possibly, um, it depends. I, I really have hope for humanity that we will be able to use artificial intelligence to better ourselves and to better our experience and also hopefully use it to address things like sustainability and climate change. And if we can get those systems in place within that shorter time frame, then um, I am hopeful that we will have a good world for the future. And what can companies do to take care of the future? Well, one thing that we have to remember is that things like the internet was originally created by technologists and academia and um, governments to be able to share information across geographic locations, whereas the metaverse is being created by big tech companies without any government oversight or regulation. Um, so they very much have commerce and making money at their core, and they make their money off of us and our data and our clicks and our likes and our subscribes. So one of the things I was talking about in my talk was about being a conscious clicker, understanding that we can actually impact and influence the future of these technologies by where we put our attention and our digital footprint. So using our digital footprint and our clicks for, for good, and um, because with every good, with every positive, with every opportunity, there is also the negative side. And where there's tech for good, there's also tech for bad. And we have to, as citizens, really advocate for tech for good. Okay, so what else can we do to take care of the safe technology future? So as individuals, like I said, we can be conscious clickers, we can also, um, do simple things like deleting emails, unsubscribing, because our carbon footprint of our emails does have an impact. So out of an entire year, um, it's the equivalent to 200 miles driven in a gas car, your carbon footprint of your emails. But as businesses, we can start to incorporate um, uh, being able to audit and measure how we are doing when it comes to data sets and having inclusivity and diverse data sets as well as how we manage it with AI and our algorithms. And when we move into this metaverse, whereas we used to, every company needed a website and then a Facebook page and now every company is going to have to have a space within the metaverse, uh, we need to, as an industry, be able to set some standards that we all work towards and um, as individuals working in these companies be able to advocate for a way to measure this standardization as well as third-party auditors. Um, I believe that regulation hopefully will catch up at some point, but we cannot rely on regulation. We really have to be leaders of this in our own industries. Thank you very much. My pleasure.